how to graph equations of the form y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1 by hand an alternative way using transformations. We'll actually show two different methods and this is part of the family of functions series. You may need graph paper. You can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. So this is the equation we're going to graph. y minus 5 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 2. At first it appears we could graph this using the point slope form. However, instead let's try a different way. So solve the equation for y. Press pause, resume when you're finished. And by adding 5 to both sides, we get y equals 3 times the quantity x minus 2 plus 5. Notice that these two equations are equivalent forms of each other. So this is an equation of a line. We need to identify the parameters like we would in a transformation. These are values in the expression that affect the graph. And so there are three parameters here. 3, minus 2, and plus 5. So how do they affect the graph? The 3 is the slope of the line. The minus 2 inside the parentheses shifts all points to the right two units. And the plus 5 outside shifts all points up 5. So we're going to graph this line using horizontal and vertical transformations. So we'll begin at the origin. But each point is shifted right two units, so we'll shift that origin to the right two units. And each point is shifted up five units, so we'll shift that point up five units. And we're going to draw a line with slope of three through that point. And remember that slope is the change in y over the change in x. The change in y is positive three, while the change in x is to the right positive one. So there's our point, another point. We can also think of this as negative 3 divided by negative 1 with a change of y of negative 3 or down 3 and a change of x of negative 1 or left 1. And that will be our third point. Draw the line and this is the graph of both of those equations since they are equivalent forms of one another. A second way is this time we could use a table. And so we'll start off with y equals x and populate that with five points close to the origin. Again, looking at the parameters, the minus 2 is the only one that affects the x values. This shifts each point to the right two units. So that means we have to add 2 to each x value. So that's what we're going to do. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 2 is 3, and so on. The times 3 and the plus 5 affect y values. And by the order of operations, we multiply by 3 first, and then we add 5 second. So we're going to take each y value and multiply it by 3, then add 5. So in this case, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 5 is 11. And that's shown right here, how we're doing that. So we'll go ahead and plot 4, comma 11, which is kind of off our screen here. Next, it'll be 1 times 3 plus 5, and that would be 8. And so now we'll plot the point 3, comma 8. 0 times 3 plus 5 is 5, 2, comma 5, and so on. 3 times negative 1 plus 5 is negative 3 plus 5, which is 2, 1 comma 2. And finally, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 5 is negative 1. So 0, negative 1. Draw the line, and again, this is the graph of either one of those two equations. Now you try one. Graph y plus 4 equals negative 2 thirds times the quantity of x plus 1. Pause is needed and resume to check your answer. And remember, we're only going to show the answer.
And so I guess we showed a little bit more than that here, showing how we shifted, start at the origin, shifted left one, down four, and then drew a line of slope of negative two over positive three, or positive two over negative three. Or you could have done a table. And these are five points that are on this line.